guys it's your scholarship coach ta hyman back at you coming to you from beautiful kingston jamaica and i have a couple messages or a message for you um given the fact that we will be launching our book how do you use these darn chopsticks in may 2021 this particular book chronicles my time living in japan as a student and as the challenges i face as well as how I overcame them and then I put their tips whenever you want to study overseas um, what are the considerations it's like a manual and a guide so that's coming up in May 2021 but I'm announcing it from now because you guys need to pre-order by clicking that link below now my message today is targeted towards like parents this particular one because as I mentioned the book is about living overseas and it doesn't only apply to you if you're going to Japan it could also apply to other countries that you may be interested in doing either a bachelor's degree or a master's degree and things to consider and so um, Scholastic is even celebrating our fifth year anniversary yes February 2021 five years and one of the things that I've seen from doing my consultations over the years is at times the question comes up am I really ready to do a bachelor's or a master's degree overseas these are some of the, the questions that we ask our clients and the things that clients need to consider some of these clients may be stick some students um, about to go into university so some of them may just be below 18 and so there's a lot of parental guidance during that time in terms of what they need to do for university and so in most cases I am consulting or counseling both the parents and the and the young adult i have to care for you now we can't say child young adult and uh, um what i've observed over the years is that going overseas is not for everyone and that's a very important consideration especially when i'm assessing you i'm doing my consultations with a scholarship consultation i'm not going to encourage you to go overseas if i don't say that you're you're not you're mature enough or you're able or you don't have a strong foundation when you go into a foreign country, you need to have a strong foundation, a strong sense of who you are. You may not actually know everything. Because when I had gone to Japan, I learned more things about myself there. So you're not going to know everything, but you need to have a strong foundation in terms of what is it that you're coming, you came here for? What are your principles? What are your morals? Um, and what, is, what, what, are, what are you all about? What are you focused on? Because you don't want to have somebody who is not certain of themselves you send them overseas to study and they get caught up in all kinds of things that probably lead to even destruction. Because it's already a risk, guys. Let's face it. I'm not going to lie to you guys. It's a risk leaving your home and going overseas. Just like any other risky life, it's a risk and it comes with certain responsibilities. So I get this question all the time from parents and I let me encourage a parent before you send them off, ensure that they have developed a sense of self. However, there's also the flip side of the coin. There's the side where the child is actually able to stand on their own and the parents are free to let them go. The parents are going to say, oh, I don't want them to go too far from me in case there's an emergency. Fine, yes. But sometimes the opportunities may not be across the road or in North America. It may be in Asia, Oceania, somewhere else. Are you going to rob the child of this opportunity? And basically, guys, basically what's happening right now in some parts of North America Sometimes it's best to go to other countries, okay? Can I get an amen? So I want you guys to really consider both sides whenever you're putting them. Your kids um, are considering whether they should study overseas. You need to look on the complete picture. Consider that the child has a strong foundation, a strong sense of self. You have instilled in them certain morals and values and they're able to stand on their own. If not, um, they may not be, can I use the word eligible um, for overseas study? And then the flip side is, it, is that if they qualify and they're, and they're not just qualified, if they're uh, mentally ready and prepared um, to, to go into another foreign country, allow them, parents actually allow them to go. Or I'm saying, parents, you should allow them to go. But know this, when you do come for a, come for a consultation with, at Scholastic, at some point, if we don't think that you're strong enough to live overseas, we kind of have to get the point across to you how we don't want you to destroy yourself so that's really my message this evening um, that supports the book that's coming out how do you use these darn chopsticks things that you need to consider when you're going to study overseas so click that link below to pre-order 
Kaboom!